Okay, guys, I'm gonna make this as short as possible. Um, okay, I bought the uh, M1060s like a week ago, and the only thing I have to compare them to are the uh, T50s RPs, Mark Threes, uh, and they're custom modded with the pads. Uh, I've put some polyester uh, foam or padding inside with some velcro and a dish right here which is made of it's not duct tape it's the, the, the paper duct tape whatever you call it and I cut a line to me they have the great base great imaging and very very a lot of clarity but the thing is with the M1060s okay the first thing you should do is burn in the burn-in time, I'd say it's about 10 hours. Like, you have to burn this shit for 10 hours. Play music for 10 hours. Because when you get them, they, they sound, compared to these, they sound like shit. So, yeah. Uh, afterwards, what you have to do? Pretty much nothing. Then, okay, this is my setup. I have the Focusrite Solo for my microphone. I have the Modi 2. This, which I'm going to talk about. I have the Magni 2. A splitter well and this is my uh, speaker amp for my fluences so the thing is, is that when you it lacks treble in my opinion this is too neutral and it's boring to be honest very boring so this is a revision too this is not the one with the MC uh, MCX whatever connectors uh, they fix the uh, the thing it's not sharp anymore and they fix this shit it's now uh, made of rubber, rubber plastic, and it's not doesn't slide down, and it's yeah, needs some cleaning. Anyways, so what you need is this thing, the Zeli Audio D2. Okay, you need this. Uh, the treble is on the max. It's not gonna. Yeah. You put the treble on the max. The bass is right in the middle. D it depends on your taste. If you like treble, you can put it. At, uh, if you like the pa the bass, you can put it at middle or uh, like all the way. But all the way sounds really bad. The treble, I found that three o'clock and four o'clock is good, but maxed out is for my taste because I love treble. And not on only that, uh, whenever uh, the M1060s, whenever you're playing a song with, uh, let's say, instruments, piano, uh, guitar, uh, whatever, the strings uh, sound better. Like there's an echo, it's more, there's more clarity. And the other thing I might do is, like, remove the padding inside, but I, that will void the war warranty. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see maybe another time. Anyways, so yeah, the Zeli Audio D2. These are not the stock tubes. Stock tubes are right here. These are the stock tubes. These bad boys. They sound okay. O okay ish. But what you need is the Vosh cards 6ZH1P. EV, those right here. I'm, I'm not sure if this is capturing on the, on the camera, but these two they cost 16 US and the shipping is supposed to be free. Well, it was free because this is on eBay.com, but I use the other because I'm not in the USA. Uh, okay, the price for the Zeli is $46 uh, $42.80. Pretty much anybody can afford that, and it will transform. The M1060s, a lot, honestly, because when it's plugged into the Modi 2, directly to the Magni, it sounds like shit, to be honest, compared to these, because these were modded by myself, to my taste, but if my taste differs from yours, with the Zeli Audio D2, you can put the treble and the bass to whatever setting you like. Mine's, mine, mine personally is max treble and 12 o'clock for bass. Max volume, of course. And that's it.
that's all you need to fix the M1060s from being neutral and boring. If you have the T50s RPs, Mark III's, and you're like, okay, this is, it's not worth $300 compared to these, because the difference from these to, to the uh, T50s, I'd say it's about 80%. These are 20% better. And the build is shit, to be honest. Look at this. Look at it. It's not even thick metal. I mean, this is so easy to bend. But anyways, I like these. Now with the, uh, the Zeli audio detail, they're pretty good. It's worth the $500 I paid Canadian. That's with the shipping and the fucking import taxes. So yeah, that's it.